Okay, so lately I've been talking with my clients a lot about approximations. Approximations are when you, it's just that, it's an approximate uh, behavior. So uh, if you want, for example, uh, worked with parrots at one facility that I worked at, and we had them trained to go around an arena and greet the guests and wave and things like that, but f the first thing we had to do was get them to go around the arena. Uh, we did this by basically rewarding them uh, the moment they took a step. And then after we got this one step consistent, then we, were, then we were asking for two or three steps. Then after two or three steps, uh, we would ask for five or six or more. And then we'd hit the posts uh, on these fencings. And when we hit that, we just would approximate the behavior of them going over the post by simply... <laughs> by simply touching the post. And then after that, they'd have to touch a little further or even hop up onto the post just little bit by little bit to get the actual full behavior of going over around an entire 100 uh, foot uh, arena fencing. Uh, so that's approximation. There's a number of ways I've been using it with my clients. Uh, one, um, a lot of times with what I need, I don't need the, the most minute of approximations, but leave, Recently, a client uh, really challenged me. The client's dog uh, was very uh, hesitant of me, so at first I had to gain its trust. And one of the ways we did that was just we were just trying to train a, the recall or the come or hear command because the dog didn't have that. So what I did was first, all the dog had to do was orient towards me. I'd say come, and if it just looked in my direction, well, I should say first I had it looking at me. For, so we had it looking at me, then we had it orient its whole body towards me, and then I started putting imaginary lines, like about 10 foot, 8 foot, 5 foot, 3 foot. And when I saw the dog cross that imaginary line that I had in my head, then I would click. I would reward that moment, that moment that they got closer. And then next thing we know, within about 10 minutes or so, the dog's doing a perfect recall for me, a complete stranger and then we were able to transfer that over to the owner then a week later the owner uh, mentioned that the dog used to know how to play fetch but hadn't played fetch in years so I did an approximation and as soon as the dog I threw the ball and it did the chase and just would run around with the ball in its mouth and maybe play what I call soccer where it put the ball between its uh, two feet and <laughs> it would uh... all right gray wind Target. Nope. Target. Good boy. That's a good boy. All right. So we would uh, throw the ball. And then once again, once the dog oriented themselves to us with the ball in its mouth, it quickly figured out, oh, oh you want this. Came closer. And as it got closer, we would click. And then we'd change where that mark is over time. And then when it came to us, the final behavior that we needed for, or the final approximation that we needed was that it would give us the ball. Very quick, very easy, within maybe 10 minutes or so on that behavior as well, we got that behavior going and now the owner, for the first time in about, I think they said two years, uh, that dog was now playing fetch and handing the ball over to the owner. Uh, that being said, I had some clients that were, their dogs were afraid of leashes. So we did approximations with the leashes, we got the the uh, dogs first. Then we just got kept the leashes out, and uh, as they just would approach the leash, they would get a reward. Then later on, we changed the behavior, and then we actually would start asking them to approach the leash using uh, the target command. Which basically, for my clients, we generally have target. You have to boop your uh, your hand with their nose, and they would get closer and closer, and then eventually we would hold the leash up so that it would ding their little uh, collar. Phenomenal. And eventually we were able to start walking again with a leash uh, with, that, with those clients. So these approximations are how you get the behavior really uh, going. Because <laughs> a lot of people want to do the full sit or down or the full heel right away. But you can't. Even the stay command has to be done with approximations. Small little moments where you get the behavior going or close to the behavior, and then you ask them to do a little bit closer. You stop rewarding for what they are doing 
and then set a new standard. Okay, you took two steps, now we want four steps. You stayed for two seconds, now I want you to stay for five. Then I want you to stay for 10 and 15 and so on and so on. So we keep adding slowly to the behaviors. Approximations are uh, the tricky part. Oftentimes what I do, uh, while I can tell people where to do the approximations, uh, the real nuance in training comes with those approximations. And some, oftentimes I have to uh, be there to observe and set the first set of standards. And then once the owner sees what I'm talking about, then they can uh, adjust it themselves uh, in between our sessions. Hi, Xanadu. How are you? And it's just with those little minute changes that we can make a big difference in, an, in a dog or any animal's life, really. Well, if you have any questions on these approximations, let me know. Uh, or actually, if you have questions on anything, uh, you can like my face, the Facebook page, uh, contact me. Uh, just go to bbbehaviors.com. Uh, you can even set up your first session uh, using the website. Uh, just let me know. Hope you uh, all have a great uh, holiday and happy Thanksgiving and other holidays to come. Have a good one.